All right, I'm back. I had no idea that it was going to take me more than 10 minutes to explain my entire room. I guess I have a lot more stuff than I thought. So this part, we'll talk about my games. Um, there's Chun-Li, there's my Virtual Boy. But uh, I got a couple of little holders here, holders of some N64 games. GoldenEye. Never really liked that game. Everyone like ranted and raved about it. I always hated the controls, especially because I was more of a PC mouse guy. Star Wars Rogue Squadron, good stuff there. This is also full of uh, Super Nintendo games. More appropriately, not all of them, but a good majority of them, crap Super Nintendo games. Like Super Godzilla, Rise of the Robots, The Lawnmower Man, um, Super Tennis, Clay Fighter, um, some sports games, lots of crap in this one. So this is stuff I get like for 25 cents or if they come in bundles, I just throw it in there. This is the good stuff here. These are the good Super Nintendo games. Like, uh, not Revolution X, that's not a good one. Earthworm Jim, Secret of Evermore, the Star Wars games, the Breath of Fire, all the Final Fantasies, the Super Punch Outs, um, all of them. Just great, great stuff in here. Just big fan of the Super Nintendo system. One of my favorite retro systems, the Super Game Boy, as you can see. I have like Earthbound and Super Mario Kart, Demon Crest. I have a lot of great SNES games. I'm really proud of my SNES library. And of course, uh, we've got my Nintendo games here. I want to say like I have 170 something. Um, pretty much everything you can think of Cabal, Double Dragon, the Castlevania games, the Zelda games. They're all here. And they're all awesome. Um, I try to get them in decent shape as I can. If not, I try to clean them up. And I have some more on the bottom here. So, I have a pretty good selection of Nintendo games. Uh, what's crazy is almost all of these games I'm showing you, maybe like 85% of them I've actually played and beat just growing up throughout the years. There's a lot of them that uh, I've just gone through and, you know, destroyed. And I do have a decent number of games I haven't beaten, but a lot of the games here I do have, I have beaten. So, very cool. So, it's, I'm, I'm not like one of those people who will just pick up a game and not play it. I will pick it up. Uh, if I pick them up in bundles, I'll play through them and beat them. It just depends on how much time I have. Now that I'm a bit older, I don't have a lot of time to play games as much as I used to. So uh, I kind of have to take them one at a time and, you know, just play through them as I can. But I still get through them. Game Boy games, Double Dragon, Ninja Guy Dan. I got almost all the Mega Mans except two. Castlevania, Castlevania Adventure. I'm going to be uploading that video review of the new one, actually. Some Virtual Boy games. Some Game Boy Advance games. And I already told you there were some Nintendo games down here. But this is uh, the uh, Famicom Disk System games I, were tell I was telling you about. And as you can see, they're di completely different from a packaging perspective. And the uh, disk itself here, if I can open this up. This is a actual Famicom Disk System game. And uh, what you do is you turn on the Famicom. Your side A, pop in side A to the system. It'll load it, you start the game, and then you pop in side B, and away you go, you start playing. Put this camera down here for a second. All right, we're back. So um, that was the Famicom Disk System games. Um, over here I have my boxed Intellivision and Atari games. Now, I do have to say that uh, I've picked up a lot of Atari, a lot of television games. It is really hard to play anything that is pre-Nintendo. Uh, I don't know if it's just because of the simplicity of the games, but it's one of the hardest systems to just pull out, at least for me, and play and enjoy. I can only play them for a few minutes, and uh, that's about it. So, some good games. Donkey Kong's there, Frogbog, uh, Stampede, Joust, Pac-Man, Dark Chamber... Down here is not Atari stuff. This is uh, Ninten box Nintendo stuff. Um, I didn't realize that I never opened this and put it out, but this is the magic of uh, Shirazad. And apparently it's still sealed. I never opened it. <laughs> so that's one of those I'll have to play and try out. Or maybe I'll keep it sealed. I really don't have any sealed Nintendo games, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So put this away. So yeah, box Nintendo games there. So this little orange shelf I got from... Don't mind that, that was just my phone. Um, this little orange shelf I got here that holds my speaker, my monitor speakers and stuff, I got this from my buddy. Um, this is my 
freaking phone again. Stupid thing. Um, this here, you've seen these two before. That's Poison and uh, Cami from Street Fighter. My little Famicom bank. Put a coin in there. My little star mouse, which is cool. Now, this I actually just cleaned up. I had a bunch of paper and crap in here. I changed it out just because I need a little bit more room. Sega Genesis games. Contra, Forgotten World, Shadow Dancer, Thunderstrike, Fantasy Star, Spider House, Sonic. You name it, it's there. There's some great, great games in this one. And then it continues. Some more of the EA Sports titles. I really hate how the EA Sports guys like changed their uh, logos and stuff. And change their cartridges. It's really annoying. Some 32X stuff. I really hate how 32X doesn't have labels on their stuff. Kind of like the Nintendo 64 games. Okay, down here we have in the back a little hard to see is Sega Master System games, Ghostbusters, Altered Beast, Time Soldiers. Some good stuff. Some Nintendo 64 games. Wave Race, Perfect Dark, 1080 Snowboarding. Mission Impossible, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, good stuff, good stuff. And down here, um, if you've never seen one of these, this is what a Jaguar game looks like. Weird top kind of curvy kind of deal, then front, and of course, no sticker for your title on the front, which is annoying, I really hate that. But uh, not a lot of good games for this system, as I pointed out, except Aliens vs. Predator, which you can barely see back there. These here, well, this is almost turning into like the import area. I should really move those Famicom Disk System games over here. But this here is uh, the Super Famicom, which is the Japanese equivalent to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And what you're looking at here is uh, Dracula X. Actually, uh, in Japan it was Dracula Double X because this was a port of the PC Engine version. Cool thing. As you can see, Street Fighter back there. This here is my NES to Famicom, so if I want to play a uh, Nintendo, regular American Nintendo game on my Famicom, I pop this into the top of the system with the game, and bam, there you go, it plays it. Now, for those of you who didn't know, Mega Man is Mega Man here in America, but in Japan he's known as Rockman. I have the first three Rockmans, or first three Mega Mans for the American Nintendo Entertainment System. I have... And the, the 6 is on its way. I have 4, 5, and 6 for the Famicom. I figured I'd split them up and make it kind of cool. But he's known as Rockman over there. And he's got some cool artwork for their games. Rockman 5. There's Castlevania 3, which is a little different than the American version. A lot of times you'll find that they edit stuff out of the American versions, like for religious figures and stuff back then. Like uh, For this game, they cut out the crosses and some of the blood and stuff, which is pretty interesting. But in the Japanese version, they have it. you got to be careful with this guy because he's becoming kind of rare. I wonder if I should box him back up. I actually have the original box. I'll show you guys that in a few minutes. A couple more systems. PSP, Nintendo DS. These are my PlayStation games. Some good stuff. Blasto, Castlevania. Chrono Cross, Diablo, all the Final Fantasies for the system I have, Metal Gear Solid, Parasite Eve, Siphon Filters, uh, lots of them. I have uh, a good number of these. Um, Dreamcast, like the Wing Commander, or Wing Commander was PS1 actually. Um, Dino Crisis, Dead or Alive 2, Capcom vs. SNK. On the bottom here we got some Turbo Graphic games like Victory Run. Uh, there's Tigers. Tiger's Road. Those are the, the Hugh Card games. And I'm going to show you a Hugh Card game really quick because not many people have seen these. Turbo Graphics 16 didn't use cartridges. It used these things called Hugh Cards. And they're just little flat, like credit card size things that fit into the system. It's my brand new PSP 3000 that I still haven't opened yet. I won that in that Beta Raider contest, which i got to remind you guys to vote for me on November 9th. I better get that video going now that I think of it. Uh, a couple more modern games here. Uh, we got Assassin's Creed, Gears of War, Halo Wars, all sorts of good stuff. Xbox games, Xbox games, PlayStation games. So as you can see guys, lots and lots of stuff. Um, hopefully you found this update cool. I know you guys were asking for it. If you got any questions on stuff, feel free to ask and I'll reply to you. Take it easy.